first licks for Cam. He just got this thing last week. Oh, Riley's just getting greedy. I love it. Nice, saddle boy. John's never driven through there. See, no problem. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's not a very good weld at all. No, no. Oh, wow. They're all terrible. Oh, that's terrifying. But hey, look at this, five grand. We're at the good times right there. Back over at Chance, last trip out was an absolute show. Well, the result of that was Jim driving his truck down the cliff, which those has extracted the next day. The other problem was when driving in the dark by himself, Sean blew up his front diff. So we got to fix the front diff and uh, get it slammed back together. I keep telling him these things wouldn't happen if you had an A60. Oh, are these new? Your little chain motor mounts? Yeah. Love it. That's island spec. I've had chains on my motor mounts since 2004. They're doing great. This side not as pretty as the other side. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's I think it's going. I think it's going, says the guy who steps back. Cool. I didn't even have the camera running, but all it took was two idiots. Why don't you do that the first time? I don't really? know. I, I just pushed down on the bearing and it slipped on like nothing. Well, at least we didn't have to ask Riley how to do it. Instead, we're just going to show the internet that we're a bunch of morons. It's still good. It is definitely still good. What you got there? Oh, a torque wrench. No. I see you had an untorque. That's good. Yeah. There's, there's nothing worse than opening your tool bench or uh, grabbing your torque wrench and finding it cranked to like 110 pounds. It's like, oh no, I can't rely on you anymore, old friend. <laughs> now we have trust issues. Something's not wrong. Something you're just wrong. doing a great job of putting it together because you're such a great mechanic. Don't you forget that we spent like an hour getting the knuckle on? Like that's the something that went wrong. No. And now it's all smooth sailing from here. Somebody already made some comment think Sean should be called Jesus or something like that. Well, my friends used to call me Dirty Jesus. Uh, dirty Jesus. I'm going to make you a Dirty Jesus decal for the uh, old green bastard then. Apparently you should have told me that. Dirty Jesus arises. Did you make some cup holders or is the garburetor still the garburetor? Oh, I haven't done nothing. Oh, good. Okay, well. So what are we going to drop in there today? Because we've dropped my phone. We've dropped the douche flute. We've dropped the camera. <laughs> This though, it really spooged out of there whilst we were uh, working on the other side. So creamy. <laughs> nice job adjusting the felt seals. You don't need to worry about it. I didn't sign up to get greasy. Put your text in, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> I signed up to drink beer and talk. You're right, I did say I'll give you a hand. And here I am, giving a hand. I'm not just useless. This will be fun. I've never actually put together a Toyota hub, so let's learn some things. I think you can teach a monkey to do this, though, so. Let's get my Toyota on. I see you don't have your impact, so we'd probably be snapping bolts. I would impact all this stuff on, probably just regret it later. Oh, boys are starting to show up. Who do we got? We got Cam. We'll just cross thread that in there, because four good ones and one cross thread one is, and a broken one is better than none. <laughs> Well, at least you cross it all the way in. Your doorbell says somebody else has arrived. You don't need to worry about brakes. Just finish it up so we can go wheeling. Now we're getting precise here. If you can't get the drain plug in, so why not loose, use vices? It's so loose. It wasn't even close to tight, eh? No. Oh, that's a nice move. I like that. That's clever. Oh, step it up. Yeah. That's advanced idiocy right there. I like it. Dirty Jesus is teaching us all. How to do scabby crappy customs. <laughs> I still haven't made you a crappy customs hat, but I'm gonna. Just so you can get all greasy like your other hat. That's good enough, you're worrying too much. Yeah. So we uh, got the front diff back in, and uh, it's about time to go wheeling. We suspect that is apparently a four cylinder diff, not a V6 one, and it's quite a bit smaller than the old diff. I'm sure that means something to you guys. I'm a Nissan guy, not a Toyota guy, but uh, hopefully the front end doesn't blow up right away. Either way, we're gonna get piled in, go do some wheeling. I guess this is not an intro because we've been screwing around for the last like two hours getting this uh, working, but it's working now. Crappy Customs, another custom job here. We lost Cam, so we gotta wait for him. Cam's new here. There's Cam. Cam got that thing for $5,500 last week. We're gonna have to look at it because it is mad. Use wheelers. That's the way to do it, kids. Bought, not built, just like Sean here. <laughs>
Uh, I Kevin's think. got his daughters with us today, which is super sweet. This is our, their first time wheeling. Riley's got, uh, I think, whoa, three wheeling it with the girls. Nice moves. Love it. Sean's trying to be clever here and make the corner before we lock the hubs. He still did a terrible job of making the corner. I think I made it. Is that your, is that your move? Do you want me to lock him now? I gotta be the one to lock him because I was the one who just bolted him on. So if I can't lock him, it's my fault, right? Like this one that I was worried about. It doesn't want to lock. Can you roll back a little bit? I am worried that I fit up though. I don't know if I put that hub on right, Sean. I was worried about that one. It's not locked. Give it a go and we'll see if it's open. Otherwise we gotta unbolt it and it's on my, it's my fault. So I might've unscrewed uh, up the hub. Nah, she's locked. She's just always locked now. <laughs> well, it's better fully locked than fully unlocked. Cam just bought this thing on the internet for $5,500 Canadian Maple Leafs, which uh, those are 37 inch sticky traps and dirty life rims. Those rims and tires new, but $6,000 Canadian. So he got the free truck and a set of rims and tires. We joke that uh, those Toyota axles, mini truck eight inch axles are not gonna be super stoked about 37 inch traps. There you go. Literally first licks for Cam. He just got this thing last week and that's the first thing he's ever driven up in this thing. I believe, I could be wrong. And now here I am hoofing her. Ooh, so that thing, let's, let's make some guesses here. We got linked in it, leaf springs in the front. So she's got some suspension. Uh, I believe it's dual T cases. I think it's a three liter, not a 22 RE, but it could be wrong. Flexi for a Toyota car. Oh, he's got some hydro assist going on in there. It's too easy. Oh, I'm tired already. We just started. So I was wheeling the cheap finder last night. Rolled my ankle real good. And uh, it hurts today. So I probably need to have a couple more trail sodas to uh, make it feel better. Oh, look at that flex in the rear. It doesn't actually look like a four link. It looks like this weird radius arm with a pan hard system going on in the rear there. Oh, Riley's just getting greedy, I love it. Not a problem though. That was a serious climb. Well done. I like how they advertise it as a great running 200,000k motor. Oh, don't pop out of gear there. That's scary. Oh. <laughs> well, there's almost a few things you just learned. No brakes, guys. No brakes. <laughs> I'm gonna stand off to the side this time. So he just rolled down there and he's got no brakes, he said. So that's sketchy, but I like how he continue to go back up there one more time. Atta boy. Yeah, those are like five inch trail gears. Am I gonna one shot? You gonna make this? the corner? Are you gonna one shot the corner? Oh my god. Oh we planned that far ahead? No, we're just gonna plow through the bushes. Keep going. Yeah, we got this. There's a ledge over there. That doesn't matter. That corner is gonna slightly be slightly wider now. Bush trail. Sounds like Riley just bottomed out. Nice. Atta boy. I'm gonna find out here if we actually have a locked hub or not. It is locked, I don't know. It's definitely not open. Blame it on the half-ass mechanic, me. Nice, saddle boy. Love it when I hear the green bastard open it up a little bit. So we German Cam's got uh, air in his lines. So he's got practically no brakes. So uh, he gets to run to the back of the pack. In case he rolls backwards into somebody. But brand new rig problems. It's working good so far though. Yeah.
I was gonna try it now just because I was sass and I'm at a boy. John's never driven through there. See, no problem. Nice. It's good to see that much flex out of the old green bastard. He had that no problem. Kevin and Nick, I'd even have to think about it. I try to get through there one day. Oh, but I, I got so jammed in there. You're stuck on your uh, Nerf bar there. If you would have made that bar a nice little bit more roundy. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> or we gotta lift you, uh, or we're gonna have to, to high lift you, but that seems like no fun. Yeah, I played that game before, and that exact spot, it didn't work for me either. <laughs> you're not a skinny car anymore, Riley. You're not a full fat car, but you're like one of those like chubby kids in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh it's getting scary i'm gonna step away i like that, that sounds really crunchy yeah. you can always tell when i'm getting nervous when i start backing up did you get it up high enough that you could slide off now maybe i think so yeah you probably should try it it's gonna be great i think or you're gonna get stuck on the next bar but either way oh yeah, that'll do her. Oh, we get to go watch the shame that we left on this corner over yeah, here last time. Well, we just were. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. We just school busted right in the woods. One tree. In no, no, there's some multiple one trees. Well, that's your fault, so you got to drive over it. You didn't take out your brake lines. Well, you could have done that. This is like your arch nemesis anyways, this little turn. Well, now I gotta get out because now I gotta film you struggle. It dies right here. Everything dies right here. It seems like a really stupid place for your car to die, Sean. Well, your starter wire is nice and tight, though. You want to smack it with a rock? I do want to smack it with a rock. Let me let me put my trail soda down. This is the right rock here. This is the rock of our dreams. Riley's laughing at you back there. Go ahead. My battery's so dead. Well, it's a silly place to have your battery die. Apparently now all of our friends have to do the hard line. We probably need a jump. Nice. This is why you build this truck though, for fancy stuff like that. Almost. Oh, I have no skid plate. That's right on my TK. Oh, that's so good. Apparently you should have built a TK, uh, skid plate. I got a tree to deal with. It Come this way a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now straighten it up. Now straight, straight. Oh, you scared me a whole bunch, but that was awesome. <laughs> I'm standing on a tire. I don't know if Kevin has that move in him. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well done. The girls bring good luck. Look, I have the uh, swimsuit model pose here to get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You got it. Straighten up. Turn this way a bit. Just keep coming up. You'll get her. Just keep crawling it. Nice. Woo, that was a bit of scary hopping in the front there, yeah. but uh, did the thing. Sticky tires. So the green master doesn't want to start. We think we need a jump. So we're uh, we're gonna give her a bit of a jump. Need a jump or just as soon as he opened the hood, it started. the wrong wire. God damn it. Blame the half-ass mechanic. Oh, and you're gonna back into that tree that you knocked down last time we were here. Look at that big mess in the woods that you made. It's all your fault. There's video evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Me and you being idiots over there in the woods. <laughs> is he gonna do it in one shot, do you think? Is he gonna make it? He is? That a boy. You almost stalled. Don't stall, because then we have to start it again. Did you jiggle the big wire on the top of the pole? Both of them. Okay, then I jiggled the little wire to fire right up. Oh, because I was jiggling the little wire a bunch, and then I jiggled the big wire, and they both seem really tight. Yeah, so that sucks. Jiggling. This Apparently I was jiggling the wrong way. I I jiggled the wrong wire. Don't jiggle the right wire. Now you gotta jiggle it clockwise for northern hemisphere. I was jiggling counterclockwise. Sean jiggled it clockwise. But it's a German engine, so I don't know. I don't really speak German. So maybe Sean does. I'll just start it up. You wanna break this cage? <laughs> I see a scary couple joints on that cage. Oh, yeah. That it's cage there. seems a little scary. It's it's metal. It's seems metal. like it'd be really good to put your boat on top of. I don't really know if it's going to save your life in a hard rollover. Before I forget, I got to uh, make sure, give a shout out to uh, a couple new guys on the Patreon channel. I got Andrew, I got Tim, and uh, I also got to mention 
I got a raise for my buddy uh, Alan, and I got a raise for my buddy uh, J20. Thanks, boys. Thanks for your guys' support. Uh, because you guys, I guess, over on the Patreon pit channel, uh, well, you guys know anyways, but we're planning a trip to the Whipsaw. We're going to uh, take the old Chief Finder and do some trail wheeling, overlanding, with my buddy J20. Stoked. Thanks for the support on the Patreon channel. I wouldn't be planning these sort of trips, filming trips, without you guys. So, uh, appreciate the hell out of you. Riley's getting greedy today, and I like it. Oh, that's Kevin. I'm looking straight at the ground, not even paying attention. Riley's also getting greedy, though. Nice. Oh! You almost went too far that way. Yeah! That'll do her. Just land cruiser in. Stop the brakes, Endo! Also, I know I keep saying it. Looks like I'm going to uh, get the Pathmaker rig out next weekend. Also, speaking of the Patreon channel, I finally got around to it. You uh, you guys who are on the, uh, the $10 a month tier, I got your names on the side of the uh, Pathmaker rig. And I'm hoping we can add some more guys on there and we can get out and do some more trail wheeling. So, oh, I'm falling behind here while I'm talking. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Well, it wouldn't be a barbecue wheeling video if I missed out on what's barbecue. Oh, well, we got some saw dogs, we got some chicken, we got some pizza pops. Uh, Are you gonna have a pizza pop? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then you, there you go. If you didn't know, pizza pop barbecue yeah. really well. Well, you know how things uh, can go around here with us. And if you stand around in the woods for long enough, more of your friends show up. So I, uh, I believe Nick showed up here. Yeah, there's Nick. See? We got the right forest out here. If you hang out long enough, your boys show up. Nice. Sticky tire, Nick. Perfect timing, buddy. The barbecue's going. Oh yeah, those nittos. Oh, those toyos, sorry. All right, so those of you guys who follow the channel, well, last time, when we were night wheeling, well, huh? then this is the cliff that he drove off in the dark down into the trees over there. Still doesn't look like much in the light because the camera never really does it justice, but that's 20 feet of almost vertical into a line of trees with a swamp behind. So that's why we were telling Jim not to drive down there. Oh, that's that's a high line there, Cam. Nice. Sticky tires. Turn that way. Start turning down. Whoa! Oh, lack of brakes. Stay on it. Yeah. Yeah, you got the right line. Keep going. There you go. Abby's gonna give smiles, smiles and waves. You probably should try to go up. I think you're gonna go up like nothing. I'm surprised Sean missed. I think you're gonna go up there like nothing. Sticky tire Nick. We don't want hopping. I don't know if that was a bad sound or that was just a... Okay, try number two. You might have blown a rear axle right there. Your uh, driver's rear isn't spinning. I could be wrong, but I, I think the uh, driver's rear doesn't want to go. Hey, that sucks. Yeah, no go, driver's rear. Well, I guess I'm out. Oh, it's close, it's real close. There she goes, nice. Oh, that thing's working good. Oh, that one's dusty, Riley. Well, pleasure to stick tires. Nick, uh, I think toasted a rear axle. It was a short-lived uh, afternoon for Nick. I gotta go uh, find the school bus and we'll keep going here. Oh, and I guess I should add to my little tour. When Jim went way off the trail, 
Jim went over these logs and into those bushes. He was supposed to be over here. And I'm standing on the big drop that he was way offline with. But sometimes it's the way she goes when you're uh, wheeling in the dark. Woo! <laughs> oh no. Carnage here. What did you do there? That's not a very good weld at all. No, no. Oh no, wow. No. They're all terrible. Oh, that's terrifying. I thought there, I was a boat there, there. Wow, well, that's, this is for putting a boat on top of, not for actually saving your life. I guess let's look closer. Yeah, that's terrible. We don't have to make Cam feel bad, because Cam just bought this. He had nothing to do with it. So, yeah, that's there's some scary things going on here. They weren't even getting any penetration. That's a cute piece of cage. Mm -hmm. Oh. And there's no sleeves in the butts. Oh, there's not even a sleeve there. It's going to be really scary if he rolls it. Uh, no kidding. Well, you're riding with him. Well, it's a bad sign when you're adding like weird little random like four inch gussets just because there's a band there. Like, what is this gusset doing? The welds on the gussets, they're done good. Actually, the welds on the gussets are way... I, I wonder if Buddy had a friend who was like, I have to save your life and I'm going to make some gussets and I actually know how to weld. The gusset guy knows what's up. The cage guy does not. Not in there just like that. Well, good thing it's not a safety equipment or anything. <laughs> That, so the welding was just for fun. It was just for looks. Uh, oh, wow. We're done that trail. We might have broke both the Suzuki's. <laughs> Too much traction though. To have any problems at all. You don't need sticky tires. Try to get a different angle of crack rock here for once for you guys. Oh, Kevin dropping his tire right in Crack Rock and still can do it. I don't think he's three wheel drive. Oh, he's got the sound maker in his back tire there. Obviously you want to go that way. This way's not even hard. I don't know what you're worried about, Cam. Once again, first Cam's first day out here. But hey, look at this, five grand. We're at the good times right there. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, yeah. Well done. That's the way. I gotta stand on the other side though. So I'm not pointing in the sun. Riley's gonna walk right up this one shot. It's getting undercut though. It's gonna be nasty in the rain. Yeah, buddy. So if you guys were watching last week, over there is where Jim uh, rolled his rig. Which pretty much every week, because that's what Jim does. Well, wouldn't you have it? Our electrician drove away 30 seconds ago. And now the green bastard doesn't want to start. And since me and Sean are not electricians, we've wiggled all the wires and it still doesn't want to start. Kevin! Kevin, we need you! The Zunfugel is having problems. Kind of like if you stand around for long enough, your friends will show up in the woods. If you stand around broken for long enough around here, your friends will come back and save you. So here comes our electrician to fix our electrical problems. It doesn't go vroom vroom anymore. It's no longer going vroomity vroom vroom. Kevin's gonna do what Kevin does, which meaning is fix all of our rigs for us. <laughs> you're getting you're getting charged per tap, Sean. Oh no. So bring the thunder, bring the noise. Well, that's disappointing, Sean. It's supposed to start. Kevin just got greasy and everything under there. Do we have a better hammer? Like, I can hit harder on your starter or like use this rock, but... Oh, I want to look in your toolbox. That's always good times. Oh, you've got three wrenches and a larger pair of pliers. I guess we're hitting it with a pair of pliers. Whack it with the end of that. Those are pretty heavy. <clears throat> It's my ride home, so I'm just gonna keep beating it until I. Yeah, I'm getting just nothing. 
Yeah. Got the bomb start thing. If you want to, I don't know if you're, you've got it, you do have a bit of room. I know, and I think if I'm just in reverse, and then what, four wheel or two wheel? Definitely two wheel. Oh, sorry, definitely four wheel. I mean, four wheel low reverse. You've got enough room that you're gonna get probably two bumps before you go over the edge. I think it's a great idea. If you don't have a starter, well, let's just give you a push start down the hill in reverse. Hang on, we gotta watch over here. You're looking the wrong way. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen here, Abby. This is, is not gonna work. Pop it, pop it. Nope. <laughs> uh, diesels are such high compression motors, it doesn't pop very easily. It just stops me dead. That was enough. I don't know what we did, but we're back in the game. So get back in with your dad. Apparently we're not starting or turning it off. Free hills trail. I'm too lazy today, I don't want to get out. So Sean's just gonna do what he's gonna do. You're not making that corner. Yeah, that's, our, that's where all our friends go because they can turn sharper. Good looking rock over there. Yeah, look at that. I know. We should be just going right through there. I like that you went that way last time. You didn't even think about it. I just told you to and the next thing you know. <laughs> I lined up really good for that stump. I was lined up that time. Oh, we found our friends. Well, normally I get out and watch this, but not today. Don't turn it off, boy. Don't turn yeah, it off. Don't turn it off, turn Sean. It off. Don't turn it off. So we're still not sure here. If Kevin's actually got four-wheel drive. I, uh, he might have popped something in the last hill, but then again. Nah, he's definitely got four-wheel drive. I don't know. Oh, for the guys who are claiming no brakes all day. Sure seemed like he had some brakes there. Teasing Cam, because those are 37 inch sticky traps, which are fantastic tires. That's a lot of tire for Toyota diffs. So uh, he might uh, break a lot of parts with those tires, but oh, look at him just climb. You're fine, school bus. Look at that, look at that rear cage there, it all folded in. That's <laughs> mint. <laughs> Now you're gonna have to do eight turns. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. My battery's good. My truck's running. <laughs> Atta boy, yes. One shot. You made the corner. Well done. We're back at Chance after a uh, day of wheeling. We uh, just threw Nick's Suzuki up on the hoist. Uh. That was a short trip for this guy. No kidding. But at least you made it out. Came out in time for the barbecue. Oh, you know, that is definitely, wow, that's clean. Wow, that is that's clean. real clean. Quite the clean break. That's why it didn't make much sound. It just went, wow. it's like somebody angle ground that thing. Oh, that was Nick's problem right there. I'm just do my best to not have happen. Dr. Nick. Proctologist Nick, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the teeth are nice so it slides out. Exactly, that's always the worry. It just dropped. A little heavy for this magnet. <laughs> you know that it's all covered in grease? Come on. It's like an idiot brain teaser. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Dr. Nick. <laughs> it's all bending in there, it's just pulling out. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Well, there's a problem. <laughs> there's the rest well, of it. Hey, you have a new shift knob already pre-made. You just gotta tap a hole in it. <laughs> well, there we go, exactly. <laughs> Something was wrong with that one though. They that never snapped that smooth. That is ridiculous. Okay. Just weld it back on. Exactly. Put it back in. <laughs> well, we have a professional welder right That's here. Take it back together. <laughs> nice and straight. Well, he's got one to practice on right here. Good day on the trail. Looks like uh, I invited everyone to Pathmaker Heights for next week. So uh, I guess I better get my old box ready to go. Because uh, we're going to do some scary wheeling Pathmaker Heights next weekend. Cheers, Jens. <laughs>